Guess where I am? You're live on the, you're on the New Will and Grace <laughs> okay, set. Okay, security. Are you, are you, no. How are you? It's good really good to see you. Good to see you. Isn't this nutty? It's, it's very strange. America is beside themselves knowing that Will and Grace is not starting from scratch again, but mm. starting over. And well, the great, I think the thing that is going to to make this new go round really interesting is that Will and Grace, yes, we're single again, but we're divorced. Like we have left great loves, but they had each other to come back to. So I think the dating thing will be fun because it's now uh, a man in his in his <clears throat> soup. Early forties dating, and it's and it's it's a different it's a different story. Deb, I have to say, I was overwhelmed coming back on this set and sort of seeing you on the Will and Grace set. It, it kind of took my breath away. Completely surreal. I mean, this is home. This is, you know, next year will be twenty years since the pilot, and then to see you. I mean, I freaked out when I saw you because <laughs> I was like, it's he's here. He's here. My my ex husband is here. Megan, thank you for talking to us today. Well, I really didn't want to do it, but uh, here I am. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> uh, so, walking on to the set and seeing you, seeing all of the other members of the cast, I know. it's like a very strange time machine. It's like it's always just been happening and we took the weekend off. Were you one of the first people that the producers talked to and said, I I'd love to do this? Or Actually, Max sent us the script, Top Secret, and I read it on my phone and I emailed Max, why can't we just do the show again? And he emailed right back, we can. Wow. And that was just, I mean, he didn't know that. He was just pulling it out of his hoo-ha. But, you know, I, I just really strongly felt, because when I read that script, I, I felt in my bones that we should just do the show again. Do you get nervous? Oh, yeah, I'm nervous now. Really? Yeah. Does it impede your performance? I think it only helps. I use the anxiety and the nerves in the performance. Mm -hmm. That's why I think I have a lot of energy. Wow, that's so interesting. It's funny, your perception of people versus what maybe they're actually thinking about. And so what are you thinking about right now? Watermelons. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did Will change a lot? Uh, or did you have any uh, say in, in how you wanted to see some changes in your character? Or is it? No, this is one of those shows where I just say, tell me tell me what we're doing. What an incredible luxury that is, right? Incredible, incredible. Uh, and and because the character of Will is so tied to Max Muchnick, who was one of the creators of the show, and, and Max's life, a lot of what Max has gone through in terms of making money and getting married, and it affects who, who Will is. And I think in this case, it's interesting to, to see a guy at the prime of his life in terms of his work and his knowledge suddenly have to start from scratch again. How often do you get asked about your relationships on Will and Grace in the outside world? Because oh. I get asked about you constantly. People are really not happy that we broke up. <laughs> I mean, I'm told on a regular basis. They're like, I love you two together. Why can't you guys stay together? Yeah, people, <laughs> I mean, that's a testament to you though, right? Because people really, they really believe it. I remember being on set a few times when I said, are they gonna say that? Like, are they really gonna say that joke? We got away with so <laughs> much. And I think that's part of the reason why I was so excited to come back. Sure. Because. It was actually the, the, the straight jacket of being on primetime television where we couldn't say things explicitly. Right. So it forced the writers to be super creative That's right. about explaining it in an, a way that you know, you're know you not using the words. And then it, it got really dirty. Well, how's your husband, Nick? We got a divorce. Okay, uh, so it's going, <laughs> it's going well. No, uh, no, he's doing great. Now what about dating on the show? Does Jack have anybody that he would like to date? Is there any sort of... Uh... Uh, that hasn't really been discussed yet. Would Jack ever date Leo? Uh, I don't know, would Leo ever date Jack? Uh, depends, I guess. Okay, well, let's. we should explore that to the writers. Would, would Jack ever date Harry Connick Jr.? Would Jack, oh, in a heartbeat. Really? Absolutely. Wow. Uh, we would probably stalk Harry Connick Jr. first. It's a spinoff, I, I think. <laughs> Writes itself. Look, I'm open to any storyline <laughs> on the show or in life. We want to welcome you back and just tell you how thrilled we are to see Will and Grace on TV again. Thanks, baby. Thanks, Deb. <laughs> <laughs>